What is up, YouTube? That's it here, and today I'm bringing you guys more Regulation H VGC battles. Today, we're busting out a rain team, a rain team that uses a bunch of really, really cool mods. We got Prankster Riolu. We got a little bit of physical Citrus Berry, Dragon Dance, Kingdra, Basket Legion, and Blissey. Blissey, best Pokemon in the game, Serene Grace, Special Sweeper, Thunder Blissey. A, that's a plus one, especial. We're surrounding it with Serena. We got a little bit of Pelipper. Uh, I really think that like Regulation H promotes like team building that doubles down on your strengths without really going into that like hyper aggressive territory. With this team, we have Rain Dance on our Prankster Riolu. We have Pelipper to, with Drizzle to set the rain. We have Serena with U-Turn to cycle in between our Rocky Helmet Roost Pelipper. And we have a lot of options for always saying the rain is up. And remember, the rain is the thing that enables the Kingdra. It enables the Basket Legion to do big damage with Mystic Water Boosted Wave Crashes and Aqua Jets. And enables the Blissey to go absolutely ham with those Thunders. So, I think this team is actually really usable in Reg H. Hopefully it does pretty well in our test games. And uh, yeah, if you guys are liking Reg H content and there's any cores or teams you'd like to see me use, think about let me know in the comments below. And without further ado, we're gonna hop right into these battles. Wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, no freaking way our first game here is a Blissey Mirror match. No freaking way. What are the odds? This has to be some minimized, like, psych up, like, whatever weird shenanigans so two can play at that game like i have copycat right like i have it there's definitely like i'm, I'm gonna leave with these two i think that these two are probably right i'm gonna try and blow something the hell up with this and i i guess kingdra riolu is good but i don't think like actually Riolu is kind of nice hold on Let's see. Is Riolu correct? I can co like I can copycat. What what is worth copycatting? Minimize isn't worth copycatting because they're unaware of my minimize boost if they're using the dozo. So like, what would be the best thing here? Probably just Serena and Force Terra. I I, I guess Serena's just not that good here. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the Kingdra. Kingdra's a good mon. Here we go. We'll try this. This is the Blissey Mirror Match. Bl Blissey Mirror Match, you're real. Blissey, mi Blissey Mirror Match me if real. Oh my freaking gosh, in Reg Age. Holy moly. Do they know that they're talking to the Blissey Master? Professional Pokemon player, world championship player, that's a plus one. I don't know if they do. Do we have Katsu? All right, so there is one strat that we can actually do that destroys this person's combo. Because I think that's like a toxic orb Tatsu, right? If I paralyze it, and it can't get poisoned, it can't get the boost correctly. So let's see. I'm going to just pivot in my Basket Legion. I think that's the right play. I don't need Pelper on the board right now. I just needed to set the rain so this Thunder could be automatic. Now, normally, Thunder's a 30% chance of para. This Thunder, though, is 60% chance because we're using Serene Grace. So normally you would never nuke a Tatsu slot because they could always pivot out for Dozo and have the Tatsu go to the Dozo and you waste your time. But I think in this small situation, it's an Endure Tatsu because it's a Toxic Orb Tatsu. So we have to get a Para this turn. Explosion, like, you can be Bandit. I switched in a Ghost type. I'm pretty good. I think Blissey's going to be able to eat this pretty well. This isn't the Gen 4 Explode. This isn't your mom and pa's explosion out here, all right? This isn't cutting the defense like it used to. If I get the parry here and you don't get confused, sorry, you, you don't get poisoned, it's over, bro. Give me the para. Give it. Give. 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 Give para. Give para. Give para. Oh, come on, dude. Never, ever lucky. Have you ever seen anyone get unlucky? It's me. I'm, I'm never lucky. Um, there's a burn. Burn. That's actually probably better than the Toxic Orb, honestly. But, like, uh, so they're going to be able to go Dozo into Flamigo. Let's think though. I, I still think I have some outs here. They're gonna protect this turn. If they wanna hit this Blissey with like a wave crash, like that's that's okay. We're fine with that. We're we're okay with that. I, I live we live in a society where that's okay. You can take like half your health hitting this Blissey. Alright, let's see. Last respects will eventually do a lot. It's our terror here. Steel, not great. Um it's more damage just to do that. And we are, in fact, gamers. What's my terror here? Just the case. Poison, not great. Okay. 
Yeah, go for it. Wave crash. Oh, they're not protecting. We're gaming because they, they don't have the Fomigo yet. So can I get my value here? Can I get my value? Survey says. EQ. I think Blissey will eat this. I live. Give me a para. Ooh, look at that damage still. That's a lot of damage. There's that para I was talking about. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, value. Value hath been wrought today. You're gonna get the Tatsu KO'd and you're gonna be able to come in with the Flamigo. And he copies like all those crazy big boosts. It's, I still feel like we got shots out here. I still feel the shots. Basket Legion ain't no slouch if used correctly. Uh, let's think about this. How much damage do I do with like a plus two? Am I Mystic Water? I'm Mystic Water Water Jet. Or Aqua Jet. I think I could just let the Blissey go down. I could also just Terra. So like I could throw like Aqua Jet there and Terra Thunder that slot. I, I really do think that's a fine play because then we just Gimp that thing. And then we just bring out Kingdra and Kingdra should be able to like low key deal with Dozo. Because the, I don't know if you need Tatsu inside of you to use Order Up. I think that you do. Or you need the Commander Boot to be active. I don't actually know how that works. To get the order of boost, I think you need the thing. There we go. So, Aqua Jet, that's great damage. Double kick. Nah, we're good. We're good. Poison Terra, all good in the neighborhood. This Blissey probably, it might outspeed the Dozo. Come on, let's see it. Come on. Full para? Let's go. We outspeed Dozo because of the para. Mmm, look at that damage. Can I get another para? Oh my gosh. 60% of the time, every time I use Blissey, all right? Or, there's the order up, right? There's the order up in the Blissey slot. Let's see if they get the boost. I don't actually know if they do. Survey says, that's 1KO for my last respects tick, by the way. So, survey says, I don't know if they get the boost still. They do get the boost, even though Tatsu's gone. That's actually kind of cool. They get an attack boost. Uh, we bring out the Kingdra here, and I think I'm just going to liquidate the Flamigo and start last respecting the Dozo, and I should be fine. Um, if you would like to hit my Kingdra here, I, I think I still outvalue. I guess I could Aqua Jet there and just Breaking Swipe or Aqua Jet there and Protect. That wouldn't be terrible. Aqua Jet there. No, I, I think this is enough damage to where I can even go like Last Respects here and just Liquidate there. And I think that's probably more damage. Yeah, Liquidation here. Flamigo goes down. And this Last Respects is going to start hitting pretty hard. They can go for an order up. They can go for a couple different things here. I think we're going to be all right. Last respect. Look at this damage now. Oof, we're starting to get there. There's the order up. Now, there's going through para to do this. Kindred goes down, and so we have Pelipper and Basket Legion. Remember, every single time they KO something, last respect still does get stronger. I'm pretty sure the way Unaware works is they're unaware of stat boosts, but like they're not a, unaware of like base power boosts. So we should be good here, but I'm running out of rain turns, and like I only have a Hurricane here, so that is kind of dicey. Here we go. Last respects. Remember, if they want to try and protect, they have to do that through a potential, um, sorry, they have to do that through a potential, like, para. So let's go. Last respects. Look at this damage. Oh, yeah, too much damage. We got this in the bank. That's the power of Blissey. This guy should have brought Blissey. Should have brought Blissey. Could have brought Blissey. They left the Blissey at home, and the Blissey brought the value to the matchup. You We take those wins all the way to the bank. Okay, I really like what they're doing. They have a lot of sunny day energy on that team. Enabling like a Zard, enabling like a Zard. <laughs> I think we're gonna be fine though. We have Rain Dance Real, which is slower than the Whims. So we should be able to like allow them to do their thing and just Rain Dance under it and then still get the speed boost. So like Riolu Kingdra is really, really valuable here. And Kingdra is pretty good into the Pult. So I like this lead a lot. Um, I do still think that things like Pelipper can be very good coming in with like a big wide guard if we want it. I think Blissey's also definitely usable here. Yes, Pult is kind of good to us, but we have things like Ice Beam. We're pretty chonky. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Let's see. I don't necessarily need Serena. I think that Pelipper is still very viable. So I'm going to bring Pelipper. Um, I'm thinking though, if I want like Basket Legion, could be really good. Just I think I can just like Oko Dango, and we have Steel Terra if I wanted to flip it. Let's see what would you guys bring? I think I'm gonna bring Serena, and I think Serena, I I think the Serena has U-turn. It does. So like, even if they get my Rio off the board pretty early, I can weave in without in in between my Serena and my Pelipper pretty easily to be able to reapply the rain manually, because they have like whims 
and Meow Stick. And I, I think Meow Stick does get Sunny Day. So it's something I do have to watch out for. But I think if we get the Zard off the board, their only real form of offense is something like Goldango or what was the other one? It was Goldango. It's mostly just Goldango. It was Zard and Goldango. Pult was the other one. And I think I can beat like Dango Pult with like a mixture of like good Pelipper play and uh, and pivots. So Meowst to Dragapult. Let's try and guess what their last two mods are, just based off their weeds. It's a good exercise that I like to do when I'm trying to like learn a format. I try and guess like based off what my weeds are, based off what things, how things are going. What do we think their weeds are on the back? I don't think they're bringing in Sin here. I think that Whims is still very good. I think that Dango's a for sure. And I think if they're bringing in Sin, it would probably have Grass Terror. So like we wouldn't see the in Sin unless there's a Grass Terror. That's my guess. So we can just make some educated guesses here. Meowstick though, it has Fake Out. What Pult? I'm gonna go Coaching into my Kingdra for a turn and just Protect. I'd like to see what they're doing here. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to lose my Kingdra on the first turn. I also don't want to have the Terra in case I have to. So you can absolutely go like massive Dragon Terra, double dip darts, all those things. You can get my reel off the board. I'm gonna stick this defense boost. But then next turn, oh they are Steel Terra. Steel Terra is a very very good Terra on Pult by the way. Um, it's good into specifically what my Kingdra Terra is, which is Rain. Or sorry, um, it's it's Fairy. But I want this defense boost, and I think I can get the Oko on it. Um, let's see what they do here. There's a weird. They're trying to drop my defense here. No way, Jose! It, do, it will hit the Riola. The Riola will actually take the L to a darts here because it's going to double up into that slot. But then next turn, I just pivot in Pelipper and just pop off. I don't even think I have to, like, Terra. There's the darts. Double into the Riola slot. Like, absolutely okay. Yep. I mean, we had Sash. Didn't really matter. We're trading Riolu for one... You know what? The right play here would be to send out Serena and just tell that Meowstick, like, hey, you're not doing your thing. I think that is probably the best play. And then and then pivot in the Pelipper and then just take out the Pult. Um, that's probably the best play. We could have also led Pelipper here and pivoted in the Serena. I don't necessarily think that's as good of a play because if they did have something weird, like a Sunny Day or something, um, they might they might still use that if I had the Pelipper on the board. There would be nothing to stop that. So we just hard swap. This should disincentivize, like, a Thunder Wave. Because there is a Serena on the board, and I think plus one, plus all of the... Yeah, I think I think like plus one attack and the rain boost on this liquidation should be able to take out a Pult. That's my guess. Hopefully they're not sashed. Hopefully they're not using some sort of weird priority move here. Don't really know what they do, though. Let's see. There was just a Serena on the board. Charm. Into Serena? I mean, there's a Serena. I don't know I don't know to tell you. That was a weird play, but we take those. And we Oko the Pult. We take those all the way to the bank. And this next turn, they can go for a Charm on a Kingdra. Because now they know it's physical. They should have known it was physical because I used Coaching on it. But now I just pivot out the Pelipper for the um, Serena. Protect. Hard cast a U-turn. Bring it back in. Things like that. I don't know if they want to bring out Zard. Um, Whims. Okay. Whims is dicey. But I'm actually not afraid of this board. I think you just double into that slot. And just get it off the board and then you go for your protect pivots and stuff like that and you'll be fine you're allowed to click thunder wave here if you actually really want to click it and i'm not going to stop you i need i need to get that off the board um i don't think they go like thunder wave move blast kingdra but even if they do this is a really bulky kingdra and i have steel terra if i want it i just don't think i'm gonna need it here i think the last mon's zard or dango and i think it's zard because i think they wanted to get the sun up first they're going for a pivot here into the Zard. I would not be surprised to see a sunny day. Now, this would make my hurricane accuracy a lot lower. There's that Zard over there. I still think that we're okay here, though, because we just if we break the whims here, the game's over. We just protect Kingdra, pivot out for Serena, pivot it back in, win the game. There's a break of the Sash if they had it. There's a hurricane hit. Easy. Like, it was a sun, it was a sun hurricane, right? I felt it. You just got to feel it sometimes. You just got to tell these people that they can't do that sort of stuff. So we take those. Um, I probably could have played that a little bit safer, honestly, but like, is Casual Ladder, World Star 1 in the format? We were pretty sure that's what they were going to be doing, but we take those all the way to the bank. So now, like I said, all we got to do is just protect this Kingdra, um, pivot back in the Serena, lose the Serena, re bring, up, re bring back in the Pelipper, and we're fine. If they had Sunny Day on that Meowster, which again, I don't even remember if it learned Sunny Day, they would have just brought out the Zard instead of the, uh, instead of the uh, Whimsicott and just went Sunny Day pop right there, but they, that, they don't, so we're fine. So let's see what they got here. And then we're probably going to be okay. And we'll just swap back out. 
So here we go, Pelipper dipping for a turn. Pelipper did its job, man. Pelipper did everything asked of it. Hit the blind hurricane, the super blind hurricane, holy moly. And let's see, even if they KO, like it might even be better if they just like KO the Serena this turn. Air Slash, not today. Kingdra's not taking that damage, not anywhere else. And Meowth's like Meowth's attack is a tr hard trick room. They're just big psychic. Absolutely fine. Kingdra is so thick. This is a really bulky Kingdra too with like Steel Terra Citrus Berry. Really, really cool set. So pivot back in the Pelipper. Um, I am going to be hitting the Zard just because I want to get it off the board. Battle is canceled. Wins up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Kingdra. Dude, they had a real, they had a real in their picture. No wonder they respected so much turn one. I should have been paying attention. That could have been an extra tell. Maybe I could have like protected Riolu, knew they wanted to go after that slot and use, and dangled the Riolu's bait. That would have been a pretty good play. Always note what your opponent's like little ID card is. If they have like a Mon they want to feature, that means they either really like it and at, at the very least really know how that Mon works. And you can use their knowledge of how they play that Mon against them in certain situations. That's why my card's always just like the blank trainer card. All right, a little bit of a rain mirror. See like, all right, I like this rain mirror because like this is where Blissey shows its stuff. I feel like Blissey Riolu is like really good. If I give like Blissey a coaching boost, it'll just never die. But let's think about what we really do want to do here. Um, I'd like to play around Grim the best that I can. I think I'm going to go Blissey Serena. What is my Terra on this Serena? I hope it's not Grass Double Dip. It's Fire. Cool. That works. So I'm going to go Blissey Serena. I'm going to try and close Kingdra because I think Kingdra is still usable. It's very, very usable into some of these. Actually, is it though? Vasculeja might be a little bit better. I'm gonna bring my Pelipper so I can just hit the, their, their Ludicolo, right? And they need to bring one thing, my Basket Legion or my Kingdra. And I think the Kingdra is gonna be just a little bit better outvaluing their Blastoise. Blastoise should have a pretty hard time outvaluing Kingdra because we do have like Dragon Dance versus like, I don't think that's a Shell Smash Blastoise on that team. On a Rain team, you would generally see more of like a Rain Dish, maybe Yawn Blastoise. And I think like Citrus Kingdra should be able to get some value. The Mon that I'm most afraid of on their team is actually Grim, And that's why I'm leading Serene. I'm saying like, hey, I understand what you think you might want to do here, but weave. You know, you can set your screen. I don't want to get Thunder Waved. I don't want to get Parting Shotted. Um, I don't want any sort of those weird shenanigans. You can, you can set your screens and that's it. And that's no fake outs, no nothing. There's the Grim right there. Grim Pelipper, this is a great weed for me. So we can just get their Pelipper off the board, which should really unlock our Pelipper's ability to do stuff. So like I can just Thunder U-turn into their Pelipper and we should be fine. Um, I don't really, I, I also want to say, I don't really care how much damage Serena takes this turn. If you want to hurricane my Serena, as long as you don't get the Confuse, I should take about half because I am vested. Um, so I think that this is low key fine. Let's see if they set a screen. This is Queenly Majesty Serena, so you can't go for any shenanigans. Reflect, good play. I respect the reflect here. Blissey doesn't give a shit though. Like, it does not. You turn, I am faster than them. So that means whatever Mon that's coming in would be eating a hurricane. Which means I'm gonna come in with Kingdra because it has the, uh, it has the citrus berry. Tailwind, that's fine. Uh, this is not a game that we're playing for speed, so that's okay. If you would like to go in with your Woody Colo, Blissey does not care. Blissey cares not. It cares not. Thunder from down under. Thank you for the rain. Appreciate you one time. Uh, we also have our Pelipper available to switch him. One thing I really do like about this team is we have things like Basket Legion. We have things like uh, Pelipper with like Flying Type and Rocky Helmet. If you bring in Lucario, we're pivoting out this Blissey. You're in for a bad time. You're in for quite the bad time. Woody Colo, Woody Colo's a good play. But I'm not afraid of Woody Colo. That's like another thing. Like, I'm not really that afraid of it. Um, I think what I'm going to do this turn is I'm going to pivot out my Kingdra for Serena, just because that would block a lot of the damage they'd be doing anyways. Um, if they want to go for Ice Beam, yeah, that's a good play. Maybe I could protect. I could protect for one turn into that. And then next turn pivot. Because I think they have I think they're gonna Thunder Wave. And I'm just gonna start sticking pairs on these guys. 60% of the time, every time. You can also light screen me. I'd rather you light screen me than go for like the cheeky spirit break. Fake out. We take those. All the way to the bank. All the way to the bank. Light screen, there it is. Awesome. Great turn for me. Next turn they're gonna be going for that spirit break. I might even pivot in Pelipper and make you take Rocky Helmet damage. Look at that. It's not doing that much. I'm playing for para. 
Never lucky. So it's only 60%, guys. It's only 60%. I'm going to come up with the Pelipper here. Um, do it again. I'm here all week. I'm here all week. You got dual screens, but I'm not afraid of your Grim as much as you might think, especially because I have physical Kingdra. So I'm actually eventually just going to get this Woody Call off the board because I'm a little bit afraid of Ice Beam. Um, and then I'm going to come in Kingdra, steal Terra, and just roll the rest of the game from here. Here's your Terra. Awesome. What, you got Fighting Terra? <laughs> fighting Terra, Physical Woody Cola? Please no. Ground? Grass. Cool. That means I can just start Ice Beaming then. Like, easy peasy. I'd still like to really stick this uh, Para. 60% of the time, every time. Now Pelipper hits for Super Effective, by the way. Giga Drain Grass Terra. That's a lot that I was not expecting on taking. I'm going to be completely honest with you. was not counting on that one. Orb. Okay. Oh, that sucks. So Pelipper's down. That's fine, though. Um, oh, it's not down. Sick. And you take Rocky Helmet value? Like, dude, that Pelipper's thick out here, dude. Let's go. Thunder. Not doing anything here because it's not very effective. There's the parrot. Needed that so badly. That Pokemon's like low-key useless now. Um, we can protect Pelipper for a turn. Next turn, we'll pivot into Serena. Um, I think I'm going to Thunder the Grim. I, I don't mind sticking all of this. You can go after the Blissey. Like, Blissey will outvalue your Ludicolo, I think. We also have Poison Terra. Oh, that's fine. It's a Blissey, dude. Yeah, like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna take more Orb damage than I will at the end of two turns. Spirit Break. Dude, you should go after this Blissey. You should start Spirit Breaking the Blissey. The Blissey's the threat, man. We're also running out of rain turns, which is kind of good, I think. Para? 60%. It's supposed to happen. There's more than 50%. It's 60. The odds are in my favor that it will work. And now, it's not just speed control. You gotta start risking it for the biscuit. What do we think the last mon is here? Tailwind's out, which means we low key are gonna start outspeeding things. I think the last mon, I think if they had Ludicolo, they would have sent it out the turn that they sent it out. And I think if they had Gengar, they, I think the last mon might be Blastoise. Just judging by how they've been playing this. I'm actually gonna save my Pelipper. Pivot in the Serena, and I will soft will this turn because this is, I think, one of the last couple turns of rain. I want to make sure Blissey's topped off. Losing Blissey would be unfortunate. I could Ice Beam whenever I feel like it. Hydro Pump, you see what I mean? Like, these Hydro Pumps, they still really hurt. Um, let's see. Let's see if they Spirit Break me. I'm faster than their Grim here, so soft build's going to go value. Blissey value, boys. Yes. Yes! Spirit Break. Dude, they're hitting the wrong targets. Hitting the wrong stuff out here. Triple Axel will tear that Woody Cole apart, by the way. So I'm gonna do it. They should fake out. They Their moveset's probably like Fake Out, Giga Drain, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam is what I'm really thinking here. And I can eat that Ice Beam easy piece. That's the Dambrock Pelper that they had. Cool. I was like, Rain's supposed to be over. <laughs> Yeah, ooh, we could also just U-turn. I think Triple Axel was enough to take it out if we double into it with Ice Beam. So I think, like, that does get the KO. Metronome Prankster Grim, dude. D enemy. Fisher. Seed Flare. Dude, you know what? Queenly Majesty, because this Metronome boot. They, they almost had us with that Seed Flare, dude. There's that Ice Beam. As long as we don't get frozen, we're fine. Oh my god, I'm so fucking unlucky. You ever seen anyone as unlucky as me? I called it, bro. I called it. I called it. Can I get it? I, I get, I've been frozen, right? But I have not got a single full para in like the three or four games I've played with this team. What's that? Huh? What's that garbage? What is that garbage? It's fine. I don't, give, I don't care. We're fine. Um, if I go fire, it doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Um, at this point, you just U-turn. If, if you thaw, you thaw. If you don't, you don't. But, like, can I get a full para to make the game equal? No! Unlucky. This is actually going to do a lot. It's four boost to Giga. Like, I still think Ice Beam takes them out. <laughs> I, re I can respect the metronome, dude. I can respect it. Holy, holy queenly majesty, dude. Never lucky freeze. I think you just leave this on the board until it goes down. Um, please go away. Oh, my God. Unlucky. No, no full para either. You ever see? And then it could crit! Wait, can I actually, like, play the game? I've been double hit by Hydro. I've had no full paras. I'm now getting crit. And I got frozen. I, I'd i like one thaw, please. Please? Game? Hello? Hello? Are, hello? 
Can I get, can I get something out here? Wait, wait, what's gonna happen next? Is my roof gonna fall in on me? Like, freaking... Am I cursed? What is this? No, never lucky! Oh my god, dude. And now that I'm special attack dropped, oh, that one did so much more than the last one, by the way. Um, oh, this is really bad. I'm never gonna free, I'm never gonna thaw either. This is really shit. <laughs> no full para either. Can, and you're gonna crit me again? No, all right. All right, let's think of what we need to start doing here. Rain has finally stopped. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna pivot up my pussy because I don't like having all of these stat drops. Um, I'm gonna pivot it in for Kingdra. I'm gonna, I'm gonna double pivot, right? And we're gonna fodder the Pelper and get her fresh coat of rain. And then Kingdra should just be able to check the Ludi or like, I have no idea. Like, I'd like to be able to play the freaking game. That'd be kind of nice, you know? I don't know if Kingdra even beats that. Like, I'm so cooked. Like, I have Steel Terra and I can Dragon Dance, but like, oh. It's so terrible, right? Like, I can't believe that. Look, can I get like one turn of you don't just Okoing me? I'm happy that you switched. Good. What is this? Is this Blastoise? Gengar. Okay, cool. That works. Gengar's pretty free for this team. Finally, a full pet. We freaking take those. We take the Finally, the luck. It works. You can real light screen me if you really do feel like it. Um, I'm going to liquidate that Gengar and just Oko it. I'm not afraid of D-Gleam. I think I just double into that slot. You can go light screen or reflect. You should go light screen. Yeah, but this Kingdra about to be cooking. Cook, 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 cooking. Liquid ADs. Oh, oh my, you can curse body me. That's the right play, right? No curse body. Do we take those liquidation busted? Yes, please. Pelipper dropping the big hurricane. Hurricane. Can we get confused? Oh yes, we can. The luck has been flipped. We have flipped the luck switch. You know, reverse Uno card. I've actually never played a game of Uno in my life. Uh, that's a, isn't that weird? I've never, never once played Uno. And this is where we get them. They're going to go for the fake out. Frozen Queenly Majesty coming in absolutely hot to block this fake out. I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a, like a metronome here, like a fadeaway metronome either. Because I know they're going to hit this pal for the fake out. Come on, show it to me. Show it to me. Frozen. Fake out. Blocked, boys. Fro even Frozen. You know, it's like a Frozen TV dinner. It always stays fresh. He's going for the metronome. Do it, do it, do it. Do it! Hey, see what happens. What are you gonna use? You gonna ally switch me, bro? Entrainment. No. Almost. Almost. We take those wins. We be taking those wins. We had to outplay that. We had to outplay that hard. Considering how unlucky we got. We had to outplay that pretty hard, I think. Man, this team just be working here. Can I get my thaw, by the way? Can I get my thaw? Please? I'm, I'm, I'm here all week. You're gonna run, right? Oh, he's going for it. He gaming out here. Use the metronome. Hit yourself a confusion. Dude, he's, he's going through confusion and para right now. What a chad. What a chad. Gastric acid. It's, it's never gonna work. Queenly Majesty makes every move that you use with a uh, metronome not work because it's all prankster boosted. But it's fine. Uh, are you gonna get explosion? It'll still, you'll only kill yourself. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just chill out here. We're all good. We're all good in the neighborhood. Maybe I gotta use triple axle. Maybe I gotta use maybe I gotta break the ice with the ice. That's the tech. Battle was canceled. Wins up. This team works. Blissey works. Riolu technically worked in the one game that I brought it. What else? Basket Legion cooked? Like, I don't wanna say you can use anything in this format, but as long as you are following the right rules of having like correct layers of weather control, correct layers of speed control, good ways to not lose to popular like all-in fake out openers. You can win with like most mons. That's what I do like about this format. It makes it so if you want to double up on your strengths and the things that you say you want to do like this team, if since for example, like we need multiple ways to set up rain. So we have like Pelipper plus like Rain Dance Rio. We have multiple ways to have rain plus like U-Turn Serena to then pivot in between our Rocky Helmet, Roost Pelipper and reactivate. We know that we need rain. So we made it a big priority in the team building phase. And 
we can have that active and actually work in our favor. So it's really cool to see correct, good team building work in Reg H. If you guys like this video and you got this far, think about leaving a like other than that. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, peace out. I'll see you guys next time.